So, season debut, uh, we didn't see indoors. I guess talk about what the past few months has been like, kind of leading up to your first uh, race of the year. Oh man, I was uh, in the process of uh, you know redoing my contract and stuff. Happy to announce that I'm back with Nike. You know what I'm saying? They got me locked up for a minute now. They paid me handsomely. So, you know, this is the start of some great things. Um, gave birth, well, I didn't give birth. I uh, had a baby daughter, a girl. Uh, the day after my birthday, December 16th. Uh, she's three months now. So, you know, with that, doing a contract and everything, indoors just wasn't in my cards, but I'm healthy as an ox. Happy, I'm feeling good, I'm ready to roll. Okay, my hair, you know, get the job done with USA. Talk about the contract. You have kind of have a unique world where you've been in and out of the sport. You know, you're doing the football thing, you're trying to see the difference of contracts in football versus, you know, in the track and field world. What is that process like for people who don't really know? Uh, the money's a lot different, but the, the terminology and the structure is really still the same. There's clauses, there's bonuses, there's incentives, there's all kind of stuff like that. But, you know, we, they, Nike gave me everything I wanted, man. You know, I, especially after losing Fred, after losing Marcel, you know, I was, you know, next best. So, you know, they made a really good investment. You know, I'm going to give them everything back and some. You know, I'm going to outperform this contract. So that's just what I'm looking forward to. Men's 100 on the U.S. side, for some reason, just overnight just gets deeper when Michael Norman and Noah Lyles say, hey, we're going to run the 100 this year. What was your reaction when you realized, man, I'm in the event that is the mar not only the marquee event, but arguably the deepest that there is out there well if you look at you know over the landscape of the last couple of years you know the hundred the, the women's hundred obviously has excelled so the men's hundred is not even the last event in the diamond league anymore you know that's a little disrespectful to me you know because this is the marquee event to me so to have those guys come down big names you know draws a big crowd and it's just it's just really your game you got to come out and know that you know, left right somebody's somebody's ready to roll so it just makes you train harder and run faster what do you feel like you are now? I mean, do you still feel like you have another level to go to? Yes, no. uh, where, stuff. <laughs> where do you think you're, what's your, what's your ceiling you're putting on yourself right now? Oh man, I mean, I was, I was half of a meter away from winning the world championship. So I'm even more hungry now. You know what I'm saying? Um, getting a new contract and everything is good. It's cool, you know, but that's for my kids. That's to set my kids up to have a beautiful future. Now, everything else is just for me. You know, proving to myself that I should be a champion. You know what I'm saying? I've watched Christian get his. I've seen Fred get his. I've seen Trayvon. You know, now it's just my turn. You look at the men's, it's kind of like circle. Everyone's beating each other. And that's not like an, a killer dominant, like a Bolt era where everyone know, no one beats Bolt. So with that, where anyone can win on any given day, depending on the race, does that kind of give you this? Does that mean it's more luck or skill? Like, how do you? Um, it, as an athlete, I love this era. Obviously, I was pro in 2013 when Bolt was still winning world champs and everything, Olympics and everything. But to be a part of this era now where we're all the same age, we're all around the same time, all around the same skill level, it you go into the race with a lot more confidence. You know, a lot of people knew they wasn't beating Bolt. You know what I'm saying? But now, like you said, if I go out and execute my best race, I can be a 9-7 athlete, I can be a world champion, I can be an Olympic champion. It just makes it way more attainable, and that makes it, you know, more desirable. You know, I like to look at a race and not know who's going to win. You know, yeah, we love to see the dominance, but we like to see, you know, can somebody steal? You know, can we like to see the Cinderella stories as well? You know, that was that's almost what I pulled last year. So to be able to come out next year or this year and cap that off with a win going into next year, that that raises the stakes for the Olympics. Well, best of luck when's your next race? Um, I'll be at Tom Jones Open Up 100. Well, I'll see you in Florida. Thank you. Thank you.